And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube watching this video later on for some Bant value that we're going to be playing here in Ranked tonight. So we're calling this deck Bant value because of all of these creatures that have their ETB effects that get to replace themselves or accrue value in some way. So that's why I like calling the, the creature-based uh, decks with a lot of ETB effects um, and things like that are... Uh, value decks in my opinion so that's why uh, that's why I'm calling it that um, so uh, what we have here is just basically that a creature deck um, we have our six two two mana mana creatures which isn't a ton but we have the three once upon a times so that can help find them so we can consist we can consistently have them or of course once upon a time helps us hit our land drops early on as well and then we have our chain we have risen reef as you all know how good this card is, Elite Guard Mage, um, and then Cavalier Thorns, Tulsimer. Um, that's kind of like our, our main our main chain there. What's up, Dragon? And to help us with those, we have Prime Speaker Vanifar. So we got the one Vanifar in here. They can sack a two drop to turn it into a Risen Reef or turn a Guard Mage into a, a Cavalier or something like that. Our other spicy five drop that we can turn into though, and really kind of what our deck is about here, is Chew Lane Teller of Tales. This card isn't in the normal set. This is part of the uh, Brawl, uh, the extra cards from the Brawl set, but you can play them in standard. So it's a five mana, two, four vigilant creature that says whenever you cast a creature spell, you get to draw a card and then put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. So every single creature that you cast comes along with a growth spiral you know draw a card put a land into play so we got growth spiral onto everything plus we can bounce a creature that we control to be able to replay it as well so this looks pretty awesome um so yeah we'll be trying to turn guard mage into two lane for us there uh to keep the the other uh top end that we have of course is agent of treachery it's kind of like the best top end card there is in the format but of course it costs seven, so we kind of want to keep that curve going. So if we need the chain to go from five to six to seven, we can do that. And we got the one six drop to be able to do that. The Harmonious Archon can turn all creatures into being three threes and also bring along two three threes along with it. This card just looks awesome. Pretty excited about this one. Now the other card that I'm really excited about and the other reason why we're playing white is because whenever we have like Risen Reefs or Guard Mages or anything in play, we can play Charming Prince. This card is awesome. So this is can be a two-drop that you can just play on turn two and then scry two to help set up your uh, mana situation and your curve and everything like that. Or later on in the game, uh, we get to use this as a way to flicker our own creatures to get more Risen Reef triggers, get another Tulsimer trigger, Guard Mage, all that kind of stuff, get another Agent of Treachery trigger. That's always a good one. Hey, what's up, Sloth? Got a sweet idea for a donation deck list. Awesome. Yeah, send it my way. Thank you so much for the donation deck there, Sloth. Um, one thing that's pretty cool with Charming Prince that you can do is if you have if you have like Charming Prince plus another creature into play, you can play Charming Prince, exile the second the prince that was already in play, and then at the beginning of your end step, you bring in the second prince. And then you can exile like the other card so that if your opponent, if you're like ahead on the battlefield and you know your opponent's going to like Kaya's Wrath, you can do that to save like that other, that third creature from a Kaya's Wrath that they wrath away your Charming Princess. Because then that, that third creature doesn't come back till the next end step, which is your opponent's end step. So then your opponent's end step, that creature will come back. So that, that can uh, help there. Hey, what's up, Aura Sonic? Keeping that going 19 months. How time flies. Thank you so much. All right, so let's let's give this a try. We're going to play either four or five matches uh, over in ranked. Maybe four so we have time for you know both of our decks here. Uh, where are we at anyway? Ugh, we're number 26. We have dropped since yesterday, but now it's time to bring that back up. All right, here we go. Bant value. Yeah, Knight of Autumn is pretty important in the sideboard with all the artifacts and enchantments. Could certainly see having one in the main. Um, but yeah, Knight of Autumn's a, a pretty nice card there.
Good call there, Factory. Yeah, keep keep an eye out for when you think that we would want to play um, Kenrith. Because, yeah, I couldn't really... I wanted to fit a Kenrith in here, but didn't really have a slot for it. And I kind of wanted to play a Jace also, because we can certainly mill ourselves out with all the uh, card advantage the deck has and the self-mill with the Cavaliers. So we have Charming Prince can scry two on our turn two to set up uh, to set up green mana. You know, we can look for green mana with that. Update Stream Decker. I thought I did, but it's not. Looks like it's not really working. Hmm. I'll try ref I'll try refreshing Stream Decker. Does the deck command go to the correct deck? I don't think Fae of Wishes would really work in here. I think that's a little too slow. Yeah. All right. So that goes to the right deck. Okay. So now hope, hopefully that works. Okay. So yeah, I guess I just need to refresh Stream Decker. It wasn't really working. Yeah. Untapping with Shoe Lane is going to be tough. Okay. That's awesome, Ripper. Glad. Glad you're uh, having fun with this list right now. Okay. Nice, Static. Well, that really hurts. That gets rid of the land that I needed. That really, really hurt. So it looks like Robber the Rich matches up very well against Charming Prince. Ugh. Got rid of another land. Wow. That was game winning. That was brutal. This isn't a fight you can win. Let's try this. Ugh. It's definitely good for me that it's just all red sources over here. This puts me down to seven. No, I am not making this up as I go. So my, my plan is to, um, here, I'll, I'll help you out here, Sloth, here, here, put it, 
There you go, Sloth. Put it in the... Submit it there on the, the link there. Oh, no. That Dreadhorde Butcher with the land was just perfect. Oh, that hurts. Gosh, that was perfect. Now that's lethal, because we could have gone down to one just fine, because then we were going to be able to go Guard Mage, Sack Guard Mage for, Tefi or for uh, the 3-3. Three, three. That really hurts. This might be a bad idea. So we we're gonna, yeah. So like my plan there with playing the Vanifar was play Guard Mage, gain three life, sack Guard Mage, get. Uh, you know, the, whatever the card's called, the wolf that gains three life and fights. It's just lethal. No, I don't think it was easy elite last turn, because, again, if, if they just didn't have, like, that, that extra damage... Like, having Vanifar in play was going to make our turn amazing. Because, yeah, we would have been able, our next turn, because we would have gone Guard Mage into, into Tulsimer. I was just going to take the dance. I wasn't going to block. I was just going to go down to one. All right, let's try this. There you go, Matthew. Glad the last hour came through for you. Yeah, like, Veil of Summer can be really good here, but I don't really want all four. But it can it can definitely be a card that that uh, is is uh, really nice for us. But yeah, that Robber of the Rich stealing my top land definitely won that for my opponent. Oh, no problem, Inane. No problem. Trust me. You'll thank me later. Trust me. I have a plan. Perfect. Thank you so much there, Sloth. Do you have a specific time that you want me to play your deck? Any any day or time slot that you would like?
here we go. Okay. Okay, tomorrow? Okay. Gotcha. I can only catch on weekends? No problem. Oh, yeah. Deckmaster, whenever... I guess... I guess I never pulled up Deckmaster? After, the, after I restarted the computer? I guess not. All right, now check Deckmaster. Does it is it working now? Seen that coming. I guess I shouldn't have played that land. Probably should have kept it in hand in case this rankle hits me. They would have had to kill the Cavalier first for that to happen. All right, game three. Hawk guys joining us. But now we're on the draw. This is gonna be the hard one to win. I don't love it. I don't love it. All right, getting better. That's a good draw. Thank you so much there, Yud. Um, the new codes give you card styles. Uh, each one's a card style. Because Glass Casca makes like a, a noise that Hawkeye was all interested in there. Okay. Let me get this Teamer Storm thumbnail here.
out. So that was a great turn for my opponent. Having double removal spell on turn four. Hey, Dovin, thank you. I wish I could have bounced the glass casket to get rid of this Regisaur. I mean, I could have, but... I don't feel like that's what I'm supposed to do. Hawkeye's trying to help. Help me not be LC. Um, I don't know. I don't really have any strong any suggestions for a strong budget deck to help farm gold um, Not really right now that you know so new into the format we're like really right like right now all that's going on is us just trying to Kind of find like what cards like work well together and, and that kind of stuff kind of figure out what decks are there aren't there aren't really Like the like You know strong budget decks or or anything like that right now yeah. Even Hawkeye can play MTG. Oh no. Hawkeye, your nemesis, the top cat. Yeah, I like I like Cavalcade. Um oh yeah, Charming Prince works really well with Vivian Flash for sure. Uh yeah, the Esper Doom Foretold. Yeah, that that deck is looks pretty strong. I've played against it twice, and it's been impressive both times. Um, I have I have Ashiox here in my sideboard to uh, help against that deck with the Dance of the Mance. Okay, sounds good, Sloth. Yeah, I can do that. Well, we have we have a two lander here with this once upon a time. Of course, I we need to draw a third land. That's not a land. Temple's not ideal here, but it's it's what we got. We may be able to play Questing Beast the following turn. Oh, I look forward to seeing you. Run they can only punish you if they catch you. <laughs> That's a really good turn. Just a really good hand in general. Uh, looks like... Looks like we're down a game again. Let's bring in these glass caskets. 
the time wipe for sure. Knight of Autumn can just block as a 4-3 in this matchup. That can be important. So we'll have that thing in here. Um, Get these things out. I think I may want Archon. I don't know. They got... They have, like, 1-1 one, one counter stuff, though. So maybe not Archon. But I can turn bigger creatures into being the same size. All right, let's just try this. We'll get in a Vanifar and take out a Teferi for this matchup with them having all the haste creatures and stuff. Yeah, I like Quackbridge Troll a lot. Yeah, Iced, if you missed it, um, we played Quackbridge Troll two nights ago. Check it, check out that video on YouTube. It's a, it's a real good one. We built a Gruul Troll deck. And I didn't realize... Man, our hand was like perfect if we had lands, but... I didn't realize at the time... We should have called the deck Trollgari, but we should have. Once Upon a Time is a, a good card, but I, I like everything else that we have in here. I think the other card to maybe get rid of was Leafkin. I was definitely keeping the lands, the casket, and the guard mage, though. Yeah, we could go Orzhov Troll with Hushbringer for no goats. I'm not sure exactly what the rest of our deck is, would look like for that, though. I don't either, yeah. A lot of other good Orzhov cards are like ETB effect cards. But not all of them. Not all of them. Probably playing like Murderous Rider. Yeah, Seraph with the scales. Could really use Cavalier Thorns. <clears throat> Tulsmer is not bad. Wow. I think there's a there's a chance there that I needed to double block the questing beast. So I didn't fight. Or is it yeah, and then I thought even at the at the very least, like still just blocking with that thing shouldn't have been too difficult. Yeah, Domri's ambush with Questing Beast. That's rough. Gruel Smash. That's what it does. Great, great hands for my opponent, both of those games. Like they had turn one, one drop, turn two, two drop, turn three, three drop. 
turn four or four drop requesting beast he'll just perfect curve out those four turns and then turn five double domri's ambush um you know turn game one was more of the same just awesome awesome hand and curve both games Okay, Let's see what we got here. So one and one. We have a lot of looks towards a, a white source if we need it. Double Risen Reef is just so good, but it's not, not great against Basic Mountain. There's a new one, Food Court. All right, adding that to the stream title. Ooh, Chandra's Regulator. Love it. Chandra Tribal. That's pretty cool. All right, Agent of Treachery is just ridiculously good against Chandra Tribal. So I'm taking it. Not to brag, but I'm totally the best pyromancy student. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, uh, this is Hillsburn. Is the artist. When we were young. Let's light it up. All right, you're lighting it up. Yeah, Chandra Tribal plays the six mana Chandra. Yeah. We begin. Or the the <laughs> mythic six mana Chandra. Yes. Fire spreads fast with help. Sorry, I'm late. Don't worry, I got this. There's no lands. Ugh. Come on. <laughs> really need a, really need a land drop there. You know, with one of our two draws or But yeah, I just can't can't play my hand. Should be lethal. Yeah, that's lethal. Well, I mean, we're going down to two, but I have, I have nothing to save me before next turn. I don't I don't know why my opponent is lava coiling there. I think just make four creatures, but yeah, we're dead. All right, so bring those in. Been a bunch of games in a row. I guess just three games in a row of our opponents having incredibly good curves. So 
The Buccaneer, huh? Not taking out Once Upon a Time. Once Upon a Time helps us hit land drops. As we saw there, we gotta have land drops. So basically never take out Once Upon a Time. Just because it grabs a land. I, I was very greedy of grabbing the Agent of Treachery, not a land there previously. I mean, I, I, you know, I did that. We died too fast. And I didn't, and my Risen Reef didn't hit lands. Bleh. Greenland? No. Leafkin's pretty good though. It's not quite a Greenland, but it's basically a Greenland. All right, Cavalier time. All right. So they're playing those elemental kitty cats, huh? All right, let's try this. Yeah, we finally, yeah, we finally played against an opponent that stumbled. First out of four games, of the last four, and so we—that was our first win in the last four games, also. All right, thanks there, Static. I'll I'll check that out later. I hope they stumble here. Not really looking like they're stumbling. It's a good turn for them. Perfect turn for them. Another perfect turn. Did you see a volcano erupt in person? You're about to. Oh, looks like someone's getting a little sweaty. The only planeswalker that I don't want to see there, obviously. Enough. 
worst worst one for me to see. Yeah. Chandra. Oh, my, I'm sorry my camera is down because Hawkeye was here. Sorry. I'll put that back. I didn't notice that. Chandra cannot be countered. Yeah. Green Stompy. We played Green Stompy yesterday, kid. I had two Great Henge in it. I don't think I had any Deathless Knight. That doesn't sound like a green card. I didn't I didn't have that card. I don't know what that card is, but I had two Great Henge in my deck. Is it just me, or is it getting a little warm in here? On Chandra, remember that spell. That's a green black hydrid card. Yeah, okay, no, I didn't have that card. Keep hitting land drops. If I draw a land this next turn, I can have a really good turn with Guard Mage and then Charming Prince, Bounce Guard Mage, and Flicker it. Uh, I guess I can't block. A block that can minus two this Chandra. Oh, I guess. Find your fires of passion within. I guess I'm just dead anyway. Oh, they could have just shocked me and then and then Chandra emblemed. Could have just killed me. They can still kill me. <laughs> you could just use Chandra to put a counter on this other Chandra and minus seven it. And just killed me there. So they had lethal last turn, they just had lethal this turn, but they didn't activate that. <laughs> no pressure. All right, that will work too. Tell me if you've seen this one before. I uh, did the wrong way. One and two. Bleh. Turn four, Chandra, Awakened Inferno on the play. You know, uncounterable. It's really good. It's really good. Okay, so one and two. Let's try to bounce back here.
Trying to bounce back. <laughs> yeah, our leagues are taking a little longer. Had some uh, long games. Um, no. Why does it have to be only lands or no lands? We've had a lot of success the last... We had a lot of success the last two days, so eventually we're going to hit this, um, this kind of variance. <laughs> Only top end with two lands. Uh, this is just, yeah, we have a Vanifar in here. We're just complete non-competitive hands here. Well, I have 24 lands, but I also remember I have three once upon a time as well to go along with the 24 lands. And then, and then of course, whenever you start playing, you know, like Risen Reefs, the help, like Risen Reef helps hit land drops and and everything like that. You have the six mana creatures as well, charming charming prince scries to help you hit more land drops. Our deck is really well built to hit land drops, but this is just insane. Like these these cards here, it's just it. This is like every single one of our top end cards, basically. This is just pretty ridiculous. Um, yeah, Mardu Knights and Simic Flash. Yeah, those, those decks sound strong to me. I'm known for my excellent. Fight. You're enjoying those. It's good. I've done the hero thing before. I'll just keep Paradise Druid on top for Robber of the Rich. I don't think I really mind them getting a Paradise Druid. Thanks, Extinguish. Thank you so much. Glad to have you here. Now what? Yeah, all the names like Jeskai, Grixis, that kind of stuff, those are the names for... The uh, those are the names for the different color combinations. They came from different sets and different uh, lore and magic. But yeah, those are just the names for the the combination of colors. To, yeah, to simplify it, so we don't have to say that we're playing blue, white, green value. And just call that Bant. I don't know how many there will promotional codes there will be. There are four right now. They're only available for the next day, as far as I know. And so yeah, all all four of those are in the stream title. Yeah, probably the Simic Oko deck has been the deck that we've played so far that felt the strongest. Think on my feet. Cavalier Thorns. Unfortunate. Honestly, I probably just shouldn't block there because then I can attack the Acolyte of Flame. Yeah, I should not have blocked. Well, I get three mana for this. Ugh, Torbron. Yeah, I, I should not have blocked. I've got it.
This is going to really hurt. I re completely regret blocking and not being able to attack that Chandra now. Yeah, the Robber of the Rich has really gotten us this league. Lethal. I'm a pretty great pyromancer. All those things do three damage. We like almost stabilized after having such a ridiculously bad hand. Do I play Vetoes? It's three mana Chandra. Three mana Chandra is so good. Invention, the team or invention deck that we played earlier had. We played against a lot of opponents that didn't do a whole lot. Um, honestly. I think out of the three decks that we've played here, I think the band value deck is the best of the three. Even with, with playing these, these games, that hasn't changed at all. Um. We've ran into opponents with a whole lot better hands that would have, like our, if our team or invention was playing the same games that our band value was playing, would not have been a good league for them either. So it's, you know, there's, there's two people, I meant to play the, the Tranquil Cove there, whoops. There's two people in a game of Magic. We have not been super successful here. Yeah, Questing Beast is really good. So I'm hoping that they don't have four damage to kill it right here where we get to untap and then have Vito to be able to protect the beast. It's kind of what's been happening though. Like people have just had like a, you know, like cards that work really, really well against me. Uh, these are good. Um... Could have blocked the Leafkin to be able to have Veto available. Or could have tapped the Leafkin. I just kind of tapped a little quickly there. Schedule. Trust me, I have a plan. <laughs> 
Oh, can't be countered. Of course. Of course. Only time will tell. There's a really good solid hand from our opponent. Again. So these games have been. Yeah, I don't I don't have like my removal spells, I don't have like Cavalier of Thorns. You know, I got I have like some you know, I'm spinning my wheels well here. Like we, we have some like pretty decent cheap cards, but this is just just awesome. You know, spending ten mana here. Those are garbage. Remember these things, like that's a 3-1 attacking, remember? Alright, 830. Alright, we'll end we'll end it there. So yeah, I'll have, I'll have to kind of keep working on it. Um You know, that's, we struggled a little more against the aggro decks than I thought we would with having so much, so many cards that, that can gain life in here. Um, didn't put up great defense. You know, we weren't like, we weren't curving out too much. You know, we had a lot of mulligans. Our Cavalier Thorns weren't showing up there against the aggro decks at all. Um, I don't know. A lot of great curve outs. From our opponent so we we beat like we beat the rakdos aggro so we beat rakdos aggro lost to gruel aggro lost to mono red aggro um and then we lost to the chandra tribal deck that had turn four six drop chandra uncounterable through my dovin's veto um yeah we had some pretty bad hands and our opponents had really good hands it's how magic goes you know like we could have played those same matchups and been three and one pretty easily with you know if you just if we just run it run this completely back you know things could go the other way um but you know small samples with magic that's what happens we've been running pretty hot here the last couple of days had to have uh some uh had to have some bad variants for us there never did anything with chu lane harmonious archon never really wanted those cards so that's kind of what our, our deck is about, is the true lane. Um, there's times where we couldn't hit land drops. Uh, um, you know, we could go, we could just cut another once upon a time for a 25th land. I, I don't know if that helps. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'll keep working on it. Just didn't get to really curve out too much here. Yeah, the threats stack up fast, but we, yeah, we just, we didn't get to, yeah, we had like life game, but yeah, we didn't get to like really like curve out and play our creatures, you know? Like, you know, we never had a Risen Reef game, you know, like play Risen Reef, get get another, Ris, you know, Risen Reef into Cavalier of Thorns. Like that, we never had things like that. Um, you know, we had instead a lot of mulligans. And stuff like that. No, we didn't get to Vanifar or something. We we did play Vanifar one turn where if we got to untap with Vanifar, we were most likely going to win, but we didn't get to untap with Vanifar. Um, so, yeah. Just had a, 
had that kind of stuff like where the the aggro decks like aggro decks are good and if they curve out that's you know they're gonna win that's what was happening uh, mulligans against curve out i don't really know what else to say about that anyway uh if you're watching on youtube later on please hit the like and subscribe buttons over there and please leave some comments let me know what you think about uh the deck and everything like that but thank you so much for watching some bant yeah we could definitely go i mean there's yeah we could definitely go goose oko instead and you know get rid of chu lane and vanifar and stuff like that like that's that's probably going to be better you know i wanted to try the chu lane part of this deck but yeah just going with with goose uh, but yeah, I, you know, like this is just a cool card that I want to try out. But yeah, going with Goose, Oko, Krasis, um, playing those, and then getting rid of Vanifar, Chulain, Archon, um, you know, getting rid of those things, you know, probably getting rid of Questing Beast at that point, you know, like getting rid of, getting rid of like more creatures like that for Goose, Krasis, Oko. That's probably the way to go with Bant. But we know that Goose and Oko are, are awesome, so I wanted to try something else. I, yeah, I really liked Charming Prince. It was honestly, like, I never played Charming Prince and thought this card isn't good. Like, Charming Prince was, was pretty awesome, honestly. Really liked it. You know, it was a lot of times, you know, on turn two, play 2-2, two, two, Scry 2. That helped us set up our land drops and everything. Um, and then uh, uh, later on, like, whenever, like, being able to play it, like, you know, whenever you have five mana, play Risen Reef, play Charming Prince. It's basically like, you know, being able to go Risen Reef, Leafkin on five, you know, kind of thing. Reset your, Riz, you know, Blink Risen Reef. Uh, we got to, like, Blink Guard Mage, which is pretty nice. We, we didn't we didn't get to Blink Tulsimer, but that's that's a thing you can do. Um, and then, you know, of course, if you get to Blink, Agent of Treachery is insane. But, yeah, I, I liked the Charming Prince. I liked it quite a bit. <clears throat> I don't know if you can play Goose without without Oko, like just having Goose to Fairy. I think you really want Oko if you're playing Goose because the Goose is just going to be Lotus Petal so much there. All right, there we go. That's Band Value. So again, thank you very much for watching it, for watching on YouTube, and I'll see you for the next video. I think I said Band Oko instead of Band Value. Whatever, Band Value.